What is going on, guys? Welcome to Your Fees and Nerfies with Brad. Today, I got three Your Fees slash Nerfies for Saturday, July 20th, 2024 here at Pig Dogs. We dropped the most repeat videos out of anyone, so click that subscribe button, drop a like, help us out a lot if you guys want the picks like the best, the picks like the most, and picks that I'm betting myself personally, go to pitdogs.com. Click the premium pick section or click the link in the description of this video. You'll find all my plays there. All righty, guys. Hope everyone's having a nice weekend so far. I'm re currently recording this Friday evening. Um, my goal this weekend is to keep it chill. I'm not going out tonight. I'm not going out tomorrow. I'm going to try to have a nice, wholesome weekend, have a big trip next week. So I'm trying to save all my all my life force, all my all my chi, you know, I'm trying to incubate the chi for um, next week. So we'll see how that goes. With that being said, man, I'm going to have a lot of time to dig into these picks. And hopefully we can have a good Saturday. Saturdays have been brutal for us the last two weeks. 0-6 oh, in the last few Saturdays with our Yerfies and Nerfies. So with this one, I'm going to play it safe. We're going three Nerfies. It all makes sense to me, so hopefully we can have a winning Saturday because, goddamn, it's been a while. Uh, Friday's picks were 1-1 one one so far. I mean, that Orioles-Rangers one, that's a tough one. Orioles came out hot. Gunner got on base, and then Adley Rutschman hit a nuke, killed that nerfy. Tampa versus Red Sox, pretty solid nerfy there. That wasn't too much of a sweat. We got one more for the day. If we could have a winning day, that would be great. I do not want to start the second half of the season 1-2, and two, man. We got to start 2-1. and one. I wanted 3-0, but can't have that every time. So let's get into Saturday's picks. I know I just said this game screwed us over today, but I'm going right back to it. Rangers versus Orioles. I'm taking the nerfy again in this one. Um, I feel great about this one. I feel better than I feel better about this one than I did on Friday. We got Rodriguez on the mound for Baltimore, coming in with a 3.8 ERA. Uh, he's been he's been solid, man. There's been a spots, a couple spots where he hasn't looked great, but overall he's been pretty damn solid going against this Rangers offense that. Look, they have names, but the Rangers' offense has been very inconsistent, very rocky this season. So um, don't get me wrong. They have good guys in the top of that lineup, but I don't know. Usually it takes them a little bit to get going. I think Rodriguez gets three outs for us. On the other hand, we got Mad Max Scherzer coming in with a 2.96 ERA. We don't have much of a sample size for him, but he's looked decent. I didn't know how he was going to come back. I thought maybe you know Mad Max was a little bit washed. But through the few starts he has so far this season, he's looked pretty damn well good. And I brought up these numbers yesterday. The Orioles on the road, 31-13 and 13 to the Nerfy. The Rangers at home, 28-17 to 17 to the Nerfy. This is a pitcher-friendly ballpark. I'm going right back to it, guys. Give me the Nerfy in the Orioles versus Rangers game. Next, we're looking at this matchup between the Reds versus the Nationals. I'm taking the Nerfy here. I'm taking the Nerfy, and I like it a lot. Uh, we got two youngsters on the mound, but two guys that I like. Nick Lodolo for the Reds, coming with a 3.33 ERA. And McKenzie Gore on the mound for the Nationals, coming with a 4.01 ERA. Uh, Nick Lodolo, I think he's a great piece for this Reds rotation. I think we'll be hearing about this kid's name uh, for future years. And he's going against um, this Nationals team that, look, they, 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 they've been hitting the ball pretty damn well. But, I mean, when we look at the numbers here, 65-32 and 32 to the Nerfy, 31-13 and 13 to the Nerfy at home. Typically, it takes the bats a while to get going. They're the most profitable nerfy team in the league. So I like that angle there. And I think McKenzie Gore is able to limit the Reds. The Reds played, uh, who was it? Oh, Patrick Corbin. They played Patrick Corbin today on Friday, and they've only dropped one run. The, the game's in the seventh inning right now. There's only one run scored. This Reds, these Reds bats are off and on. The fact that they only dropped one run in this game against McKenzie Gore start, uh, starting, or not McKenzie Gore, uh, Patrick Corbin starting, Maybe tells me this Reds offense is a, a little lethargic right now to start the second half of the season. I think McKenzie Gore is a much better pitcher than Patrick Corbin, so I think he's able to deal. Give me the nerfy in that Reds Nationals game. Last but not least, we're headed to Mets versus the Marlins. I'm going to take the nerfy here as well. I would say probably this one's the third most confident out of the ones I gave out so far today. So tread lightly, but... The Mets have not looked good tonight. They, their offense has looked lethargic. Um, and this Mets seems similar to the Reds. It's kind of like they're either on or they're either off. Um, I didn't like how they looked against Miami today. I, I'm down to fade them again in this one. Uh, Munoz takes takes them out for the Marlins. Don't get me wrong. He's not the greatest guy. 5.47 ERA. He is a righty, though. And if you know the Mets this season, they've been much better against lefties, oddly enough. So I like that angle there. And then uh, we got Severino on the mound for the Mets. Been solid with the 3.78 ERA, but I'm just down to fade this Marlins offense. I think the White Sox have the worst offense statistically, and then it's the Marlins. So, Do I love this pitching matchup with Severino and Munoz? No, but I'm down to fade both these offenses. 
I'm down to fade the Marlins offense pretty much every damn game. And then the way the Mets have looked today, I'm down to fade them. So that's going to do it, guys. Let's recap this Nerfy Yerfy video. First pick, Orioles versus Rangers, Nerfy. Nerfy. Reds versus Nationals, Nerfy. Third pick, Mets versus Marlins, Nerfy. I appreciate you guys watching this. If you want to follow my hitting camera more closely, you can follow me on Instagram at BrownWinsBets. I post all my wins and losses there, my pit toss content, other free picks. It all funnels back into there. But most importantly, subscribe to Pit Toss on YouTube because we're just trying to help you guys win some money. I'm going to catch you tomorrow.